Unmasking Phrasal Verbs, A Journey into English Contexts. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our series on phrasal verbs. Today, we're stepping up our game as we dive deep into understanding how phrasal verbs behave in actual text. Remember, identifying phrasal verbs in context can help you not only improve your reading comprehension but also enrich your writing skills. Before we get to spotting them in the wild, let's quickly recap what a phrasal verb is. A phrasal verb is a verb that's paired with an adverb or a preposition, or sometimes both, to give a completely different meaning. For instance, give up means to quit, quite different from the words give and up taken separately. Spotting phrasal verbs in texts may seem tricky, but it becomes much simpler if we remember a few key points. 1. Word order. Phrasal verbs are usually two or three words long. Look for verbs followed by prepositions or adverbs. For example, in the sentence, she looked up the recipe online, looked up, is a phrasal verb. 2. Change in meaning. A key characteristic of phrasal verbs is their unique meanings, which can be quite different from the original verb. For example, in the sentence, he gave away his old toys. Gave away means to distribute freely or without charge, which is different from the simple verb gave. 3. Grammar. Pay attention to the object. If it's a pronoun, it must go between the verb and the preposition, adverb. For instance, he turned it off, is correct, while, he turned off it, is not. Let's put our knowledge to test with some sentences. The team came up with a new strategy. Here, came up with, is a phrasal verb meaning to think of or create. She ran into her old friend at the store. In this sentence, ran into, means to meet by chance. Could you please turn down the music? Turn down, here means to reduce the volume or intensity. We've reached the end of our discussion today on identifying phrasal verbs in context. Hopefully, it helps you to better understand and recognize phrasal verbs when you see them in English texts. Remember, practice is key when it comes to mastering phrasal verbs. So keep reading, keep practicing, and don't forget to look out for phrasal verbs in your everyday English encounters. Until next time, happy learning!